Have you ever wondered how tobacco is cured for your cigarettes? It's a fascinating process that takes a simple leaf and turns it into a product savored around the world. Tobacco curing is a journey of transformation that each leaf undergoes to reach its market-ready state. This process is meticulously standardized, especially in flu-cured Virginia, or FCV tobacco, to draw out the desirable qualities and eliminate excess moisture. Now, there are three traditional methods of curing tobacco, air-cured, fire-cured, and flu-cured. Each of these methods imparts a unique flavor profile and nicotine content to the cured leaf. This is what makes your pipe tobacco different from your cigar or cigarette tobacco. The curing process, therefore, is crucial to creating distinctive tobacco products. In this video, we'll focus on flu-cured tobacco, a popular method used primarily for cigarette tobacco. So, sit back, light up if you're so inclined, and let's delve into the enigma of curing tobacco. You might ask, why do we need to cure tobacco in the first place? Well, it's all about transforming the leaf into a product suitable for smoking. Freshly plucked tobacco leaves are rich in moisture and chlorophyll, making them unsuitable for immediate use. If you tried to light one up, it would simply smolder and refuse to catch fire. Plus, the high chlorophyll content would overpower the natural tannins, robbing the tobacco of its characteristic aroma and flavor. Curing comes to the rescue, fostering a controlled environment where these leaves can dry out and undergo chemical changes. This process reduces the moisture content, making the leaves combustible. It also triggers the release of excess chlorophyll, allowing the natural tannins to come forward. These tannins are the key players that give the tobacco its unique flavor and aroma, making each puff a sensory experience. Let's now delve into flu-cured tobacco and understand its unique characteristics. So what sets flu-cured tobacco apart from the rest? Well, let us delve into the unique characteristics that make this variety of tobacco stand out. Firstly, flu-cured tobacco is known for its high sugar content. This is a result of the flu-curing process, which involves careful temperature control to ensure that the natural sugars in the tobacco leaves are preserved. This gives the tobacco a distinctive sweetness, which is often sought after by cigarette manufacturers. Secondly, this type of tobacco has medium to high levels of nicotine. This is significant because nicotine is the addictive substance in tobacco that keeps smokers coming back for more. It's also what gives tobacco its stimulating effect, providing smokers with a temporary boost in alertness and mood. But what truly sets flu-cured tobacco apart is its richness in natural tannins. These are the compounds that give the tobacco its distinct mild and slightly sweet flavor and aroma. These tannins are released during the curing process when the chlorophyll in the leaves is reduced, allowing the tannins to come to the forefront. This results in a tobacco product that is not only enjoyable to smoke, but also pleasant to smell. In essence, flu-cured tobacco is a carefully crafted product, each step in its production designed to bring out its unique qualities. It's these characteristics that have made it a favorite among tobacco connoisseurs and cigarette manufacturers alike. Flu-cured tobacco, or as it's commonly known in India, flu-cured Virginia, FCV tobacco, is mainly produced in two Indian states. Did you know that flu-cured Virginia, FCV tobacco, finds its major production base in India? Yes, you heard that right. This tobacco, known for its unique qualities, has found a thriving home in the Indian subcontinent. Specifically, two states in India have taken the lead in FCV tobacco production, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. These states, with their favorable climate and fertile soils, have become the heartland of FCV tobacco cultivation. Here, the tobacco is not just grown, it's nurtured, cared for, and expertly cured, transforming the green, wet leaves into the rich, flavorful product that it is. An interesting aspect of FCV tobacco production in India is the role of the Tobacco Board's auction platform. This platform, sanctioned by the government, is the primary marketplace for the sale of FCV tobacco. Here, registered growers bring their produce to be inspected, graded, and finally auctioned. It is a well-regulated process that ensures transparency, fair pricing, and quality control. The government of India has a unique stance towards the production of FCV tobacco. It not only permits the sale of this tobacco on the auction platform but also waves off penalties on excess production from registered growers and unauthorized production from unregistered growers, particularly in Karnataka. 
This approach supports the growth and sustainability of the FCV tobacco industry in the country. Now that we've explored FCV tobacco, let's summarize what we've learned. We've journeyed through the fascinating process of tobacco curing, particularly flu curing. We've unraveled the enigma of tobacco curing, a process which transforms the harvested tobacco leaf into a product ready for a market. This process is crucial as the green, wet leaves of a tobacco plant initially contain too much moisture to burn and higher chlorophyll content. By reducing the chlorophyll and moisture in the leaves, we allow the natural tannins to come forward, giving the smoked tobacco its unique flavor and scent. We've discovered there are three traditional methods of curing tobacco. Each method, air curing, fire curing, and flue curing, results in a product that is distinguishable by its nicotine content and aroma. It's the flue curing method, however, that caught our attention. Flue cured tobacco, also known as Virginia tobacco, has several key characteristics that set it apart. It's primarily used for cigarette tobacco and contains a high sugar content, along with medium to high levels of nicotine. Moreover, it's rich in natural tannins, which create its distinct mild and slightly sweet flavor and aroma. Finally, we explored the production of flu-cured Virginia or FCV tobacco in India. We learned that the government of India permits the sale of FCV tobacco on the Tobacco Board's auction platform and waives off penalties on the sale of excess production of registered growers and unauthorized production of unregistered growers in Karnataka. This tobacco variant is mainly produced in two states, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka, making them key players in the tobacco industry. Next time you light up a cigarette, you'll know a bit more about the process that gives it its unique flavor. Remember, knowledge is power, even when it comes to understanding the things we take for granted in our daily lives.